bulletin that has just gone out coast to coast, sent to some of the most crucial and sensitive facilities in America. Thousands of utilities, chemical plants, nuclear plants, all being told they could be Al-Qaeda targets. We have reported here on World News on Intelligence indicating terrorists want to strike between now and the upcoming 9-11 anniversary. And Brian Ross breaks the story and the new warnings here tonight. Brian, good evening. Good evening, David. Well, documents found in Osama bin Laden's compound tell of his push for a major terror attack against the U.S. to mark the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. This new intelligence gives added significance to all that. U.S. security analysts say sabotage by an insider at a major utility could provide al-Qaeda with its best opportunity for the kind of massive 9-11 anniversary attack Osama bin Laden was planning. The only way you can, can actually kill the large-scale number of Americans that he literally was calculating was through the use of these, uh, this critical infrastructure. A new intelligence report from the Department of Homeland Security issued just Tuesday called Insider Threat to Utilities warns violent extremists have in fact obtained insider positions. There are a lot of very sensitive facilities where someone can get a job on the inside, can get access to a control room, flip a switch, uh, which causes an electric power grid to short circuit, causes a pipeline to explode. The U.S. was stunned last year in Yemen after the arrest of an alleged American recruit to al-Qaeda, Sharif Mobley of New Jersey, who, it turned out, had been employed at five different U.S. nuclear power plants in and around Pennsylvania able to pass federal background checks. If someone were determined and had the right access, uh, the amount of damage that they could inflict could affect thousands of lives. The possible impact of insider sabotage was made clear earlier this year in Mesa, Arizona at a water treatment plant. I have basically taken the uh, plant hostage. Officials say a disgruntled night shift worker took over the control room and tried to create a giant methane gas explosion. There was no tie to al-Qaeda, and his alleged plot failed. But officials say it highlights how easily one insider in the right place could create mayhem. And so, Brian, in addition to the intelligence you've already reported on right here, this note, this warning sent out, shows added warning and added concern? In fact, David, we know that al-Qaeda has already put out the word in this online magazine called Inspire. This is it. Looking for brothers, quote, who have specialized expertise or work in sensitive locations. Now, Homeland Security officials say they know of no specific threat, or threat right now, but clearly officials are very much on guard as the 9-11 anniversary approaches. Now weeks away. Brian Ross with us tonight. Thanks, Brian.